I overheard you guys talking, mm -hmm. and you know, I heard, overheard you guys talking about how it being silly that I call it petty if I was the one that had initiated and started everything. So you were eavesdropping? I wasn't eavesdropping, I was walking away and you were speaking loudly and I overheard you, so I turned back and heard you. Okay. I mean, you, you literally said, I can't believe he's saying it's petty when he's completely to blame. And no. from my perspective, okay. we're all to blame. It's petty for me to poke, it's petty for him to be violent, cool. and it's petty okay. for you to continue to point fingers. Like, I really want, from the bottom of my heart, to move on. This is, mm -hmm. we're all responsible for it all. I don't want to feel like yes, you think I that I'm the only person. I feel wholly responsible for bringing this shit storm back into my life. Y your involvement with him started before we were done. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't the case. We ended up before we actually hooked up. The whole hours, the whole deal, right? Imagine what it must feel like for me to stand in front of the two of you for the first time it ever. Obviously, didn't bother you that much, considering you chose to move back to London, where we're both based. What makes you think London is so is so small that okay. I'm here for you? What is this like? Are you what are you trying to get like the sympathy vote right now? No, I'm just trying to feel at least for a brief moment that you appreciate what we had for a moment, of and then respect me as a human being. Like, That's all. I have a lot of integrity. I have a lot of emotion. Of course, I've been over all of this in my head. I was madly in love with you and destroyed by everything, like from the bottom of my heart, like actually destroyed, and you know that. I saw you and Habs the other day, yeah. and you said I wasn't the problem. Yeah. But I clearly am the problem if you're slating me to my boyfriend. Well, how did I slate you? You're saying that I've got the ick from our relationship. I wasn't slating you. Yeah, but saying I, I've never said that, by the way. That was never a conversation I have ever had. That's I've not never said you that. At all. Yeah, it is so frank. No, basically. Saying to my boyfriend, saying to my boyfriend that I have the ick in our relationship. How the fuck do you think that makes me feel? It did not go up to me and be like, by the way, Liv's done this, Liv said that. He, all these different things. It wasn't like that. We had like a proper. But how do you think that row. makes me feel? He came up Standing to me. Standing in a nightclub. I don't and care how you feel. I don't exactly, care. you don't care. No, I don't. You don't. Don't. You don't care. I don't care. Okay, that's fine then. I don't care. That is fine. So why don't we just leave it now, Frankie? It's not just me leave it. it no, it's you. Oh, it what? is. You're in my house. You have come here to have an argument yeah, with me. Because You're not... you keep fucking me off. Keep fucking you off. Yes. So I fucked you off because I didn't come to Stigby's birthday. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 Frank, you I'm now fucked down. you off because your fucking asshole boyfriend comes up to me in the club and starts being disgustingly rude. Because of you What have I ever done to Digby? Ever. Ever. What have I ever done? But, to but him? what? But why? All you're taking it out now on me? Because I, it hurts if, if me. If me were still like really close and really good friends, I would never. But the fact is, we're not. We really aren't, Liv. Look. In my head, I would love to get over all of this. You get along with Digby. You and I get along. Go back to what we're used to. I just think right now that's just. Unfortunately, I wish. I wish it could happen as well, but that's just not going to happen. We, me and him, hate each other. I can't, I, I'm going to choose DP over you. Mate, Alex and Jamie have just come up to me and said that apparently I've been texting your ex-girlfriend, which is complete bollocks. It was literally a passing comment. You know, she's, she Mate, told me about the situation. passing comments get uh, blown out of proportion. Whoa. You portrayed me as someone who I'm not, and that's being unfaithful. I'm not unfaithful to my girlfriend. OK, first of all, I wasn't spreading any rumours. Um, it was passing comments. you are. No, I'm not. Mate, Are I've you... got evidence that I fuck your fucking girlfriend was the one who DM'd me. Okay. Jamie just got it up on my phone now. OK, well, then, if, if you're happy and if Liv is happy that you guys, you trust each other, then there's no problem. Then th they Mate, there isn't a problem now, but all I'm saying is, is Liv had doubt. Mate, you getting this angry kind of proves that there might be some truth to this. I treat you like shit, and I do, and I know that, I do know that. I don't want it to be that way, and I don't mean well, it to Liv, be that way. Liv, it shouldn't be that way. But I don't, Liv, I've, we, been, we... I've been a true gentleman in this whole thing. All I've wanted, don't listen be. to me, all I've wanted is just for you to feel better, because this whole thing has been about you, Liv. You need to make your mind up on what you want, because I want you. Then we shouldn't be together, simple as that. What, Isn't so it? you're just, you're just going to quit, it? you're just going to quit no, like that? No, but I don't know what to do. Huh? I don't know, I physically don't know what to do, do you? What, what do you want? What do you want to do? I don't know what to do. What do you want? I want to be with you, but it's just not, clearly not working, is it? Liv, it is working, but... It's not working! Liv, the only reason why it's not working is because of the way you're behaving. Stop! I don't know what to do, Digby. I've tried to do stuff to make me more me, but now I've turned into an absolute bitch and I've been nasty to you and say but nasty to Why are you doing that? I don't... No, I think maybe there's part of me that wants a rise out of you or wants you to be someone you're not or you to have You've a You've certainly course. got a rise out of me because okay. I'm here now. It worries me that I don't think we're on the same page. You need to figure out what you want because I'm, I'm honestly, to... right now, I'm, I'm out. I want to be with you, but we are definitely not right for each other. We're not. I just, yeah. 
we've tried, failed, I'm now being nasty to you, I'm being someone I don't want to be, you're coming here behaving like this, which is I've driven you to do. So we're not right, Digby, it's, it's not right. You went and saw your ex-boyfriend. I know, Sam. I feel like I've disappointed you. You have disappointed me, Liv. The reason I didn't tell anyone or may have seemed shady about it is because I just, I don't know and I constantly feel like I'm letting everyone down. Like, I felt like I was letting Digby down because I was treating him so badly. I feel like I'm now letting you guys down because I've spoken to him. It, it does annoy me and maybe it shouldn't annoy me, but it does, it does annoy me. It's been a whole saga, this whole thing's been a saga. You've broken up with him, you're lonely, you've gone straight back to him. You shouldn't treat anyone like that, for one. You shouldn't. I know that. I fucking know that. You shouldn't treat your mates like that either. We are all just rallied around you. How can you go from all of those? I don't know, Sam. I don't know. I don't. I just don't know. I didn't know through all of that stuff. I was so confused. I didn't know what I wanted or who I wanted. I didn't know. You've literally. If you think I'm that bad of a person, no. why didn't you turn to me and just say, you're breaking him and don't go out with him? Why I didn't you that. say that? I said to you, Liv, when you broke up with him, I said, it's incredibly selfish if you go back there now. He's in a headspace now. He, he thinks it's all OK. It's not, because you're still feeling those feelings. And don't try and pretend you're not, because you are. And you're just covering up because you don't want to be alone. And I get it. It's hard. It's not that. It's not that I don't want to be alone. Then what is it's, it? You broke I up with him, him a week ago. Why did you break up with him? Look, a lot of us were going away for the summer. And, and if I'm honest with you, I wanted you there. I wanted you, like, part of the team, sort of take your mind off everything. A lot of me planning getting everyone away was for you. And I'm if I'm honest with you, Lou, I don't, know, I don't know if I want you there. Speak to me like a man and say what your problem is. I just OK? And oh. I'm saying has, has, Harry has, belittling me has, again. I mean, it's just... I'm not belittling you. I'm saying we can be move a man. past this. I mean, Harry. That's what I'm saying. OK. Things are going both ways here. I like both of you. I'd like to hang out with both of you. Can I hang out with you guys together? Yes. I don't, I don't have an issue with Can that. Can we bury this beef? The reason why, Harry, the reason why is because you were a bit of a dick to me, Harry. You can't deny it. I don't think I was at all. You dropped me, like, literally, we were really close, and you literally just dropped me. I just tried to hook up with my best mate's bird, so... Jeez, Prince! Was... <laughs> actually, so did he, actually, yeah. But he actually... I mean... <laughs> we actually both did. Um, <laughs> it's something we have in common, thinking about it. I mean, he just tried it a lot harder and got rejected, but... We haven't really, like hung out since, yeah. and I'm willing to put that in the past. The reason why we haven't hung out is because I don't want to hang out, because you're okay. just well, you're, you're so your fake. Your girlfriend's asked us to come to a dinner this evening, and I'm yeah. the, doing the mature thing and being civil, yeah. and you're clearly airing an issue that, I mean, personally, you should just well. put to bed and get over it. Okay, well... Or you could just put yourself to bed, because you are 20 years old. Well, because you just said my own opinion to thinks you're a fucking opinions. average bloke, so I don't want to be You've friends. said that so many times before. Yeah, because it's fucking bang on, that's why. I mean, it's not great, is it? <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely not. You're calling, you're calling me average, average when you've, like, fucked two other girls and hooked up with another person as well. Up, you've, chased, you've chased, this, you've chased you. girlfriends for years. You. No, I didn't, which yeah. is yeah. bizarre yeah. that you'd yeah. even yeah. say that. And it's so weird that you bring up things from the past that are so relevant. You think that I'm going to cheat on my girlfriend? Let's see where we are in two months' time, because I think you will fuck everything up. This is nothing, there's nothing I can say. Oh. I am. I, honestly, I'm so sorry. You're not. It's I'm and just, I feel I'm like a fucking idiot. I, I would, had your back in front of Harry. Like, I uh, he's not going to cheat Harry, on me again. Oh, I don't care. All along, Harry was fucking correct. Yeah. And I, all I can say is that from the bottom of my heart. You're not I'm sorry. sorry. Don't say I sorry. You're you. not sorry, Sam. If you gave a fuck about me, you wouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got the miles. Hope you don't mind. Did you actually? Yeah. I'm meeting with him for a drink after, actually. I know. It's just my, that's my friend, I see. Oh, he's also my friend. Are you going to pursue things in miles? No. That, that hurts me more than anything. Well, at least you know how it fucking feels. <laughs> you really do deserve this. So, James said that he bumped into you at the gym, and he said that you had decided to stay here. And to hear that from someone else when you hadn't discussed it with me was a bit of a shock. But I don't really think that it concerns you. Well, it does concern me How? because... Because you came to London yeah. to come visit me. I and... did not come here to visit you. I literally come here all the time. I was excited that when I was going to be here, I was going to spend more time with you because I thought you were a very fun person. OK. But, I mean, fuck, not really anymore. To hear that from someone else, you can imagine the kind of 
pressure that I then felt and felt very claustrophobic and almost... Okay, but something. I'm not your girlfriend. Like, I we have never even got near that. Okay. So why the fuck would I move countries for you? Honestly, um, if you think that, your head must be fucking so far I don't, up I don't, your ass. I don't, you can fucking smell your peroxide, seriously. I, I don't think it's that. You are the one who was messaging people and telling your friends you were in love with me. I wasn't doing that. Yeah, I know. No, I get that. And I get that 100%. You've also been saying to people, oh, I don't really think Mel's sexually attractive and I don't have sex with her. I mean, I don't... That's a fucking rude thing to go and say. Who did I say that to? You said that to Sam. Okay, I possibly did say that, but I didn't... Yeah, okay, Jamie, I've literally never had to bat someone off as hard as I batted you off.